The new and faster chip is featured on iPhone 5. It is A6 chip or chipset. Not quite core for CPU yet, but graphics processing power is fast enough for 2012-2013 mobile phone market for sure. Let's talk about display because they definitely changed the display. It is 4 inches, which is longer than in previous generation such as 4 and 4S. iPhone 4 and 4S has the same casing. So on this photo you can see the comparison, which you, you can see that iPhone 5 is longer than iPhone 4 or 4S. The resolution of the display is also increased. 640 by 1136 pixels. Pixel density 326 ppi. Pixels per inch. Technology is IPS LCD and it supports 60 million colors. It's a great touch screen and multi touch as well. and uh, it has the proximity sensor all right here's the technology and connectivity that iphone 5 supports it supports the cdmi which is 800 megahertz 172100 megahertz 1900 megahertz it supports the gsm which is 850 900 1800 1900 megahertz it supports the UMTS, which is 850, 900, 1900, 2100 megahertz. It's, of course, it supports the uh, 4G LTE, which is 700 megahertz, class 13, 850, 1900, 1800, 2100 megahertz. It supports the data. Uh, over the 4G LTE and over the 4G and over the 4G LTE through the CAT3 and the download is 100 megabit a second which is about 15 megabyte a second and over the 4G it supports uh, 42 megabit a second UMTS H GPRS technologies which is old EV-DO revision A and B. It has the GPS and supports the GPS posi positioning, uh, GLONASS positioning, cell ID positioning, and Wi-Fi positioning. It has the turn-by-turn -turn navigation, which is nice, and uh, Apple has its own turn-by-turn -turn navigation with their own maps now. comes on iPhone 5. It has the Bluetooth 4 version 4.0. It has the Wi Fi, all the necessary Wi Fi um, types, which is 802.11 ABGN, and also the new revised N version, which is 5 GHz. It's a revised version for the iPhone 5, which makes it faster over the Wi Fi on N. You can also open the Office documents uh, from Office 2007, which is DOCX format, as well as uh, PDF. You can send the message, messages uh, through the SMS or MMS technologies, and uh, it can predict the text input, which is nice when you're typing the message, which is pretty much basic on, on all phones in 2012. You can send the emails, of course, and uh, using the protocols IMAP, POP3, SMTP, and you can use the Microsoft Exchange as your email option. For the ringtones, it supports the MP3 and polyphonic ringtones. Also, phone supports the vibration. It supports the flight mode, silent mode, and you can use the phone iPhone 5 as well as iPhone 3GS, 4 and 4S as a speakerphone. It has advanced additional microphones for noise cancellation which is much better than was on the previous versions or older versions of iPhone. 
You can also, as again, record the video in Full HD 1920 by 1080 with the back camera. And it supports the video chat through the uh, face camera, which is on front, but only 1.2 megapixels, as again. And you have the sensors such as accelerometer, uh, gyroscope, and compass. And you can voice dialing. Uh, you can use the voice commands with iPhone 5. You can use the Siri, which is built in with iPhone 5. And you can use the voice recording. And iPhone 5 is built for iOS X 6.0, or basically 6, version 6, iOS X version 6. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Alex Morose, and I'm going to wrap up on this point. Please uh, thumbs up so more people can see this video and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Also, don't miss my uh, iPhone 4 versus iPhone 5 video, which I will uh, bring in a few days. Please check the video description of this video. I will put the link for you so you can click on the link and watch that video. It will be nice to see how iPhone 5 performs over the older iPhone 4 on the image taking, like photo taking and uh, video taking in a low light condition so we will see uh, how much the camera is improved uh, over the two generations of the iPhones in iPhone 5 thank you so much for watching I wish you nice day evening night morning and a good luck bye bye now